Hey there everyone, Arlo here, and today I'm reviewing BAM! Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Wii U. At the time of this recording, it's the latest 3D title starring everyone's second favorite plumber. Uh, the first favorite being Richard Montessori, my plumber. Seriously, look him up, he does amazing work for great rates. He's like Mozart with a Roto-Rooter. Anyway, let's get this review started! Whoosh! Bam! Special effects! Super Mario 3D World! The first thing you'll notice about this game is that it's real pleasant to look at. It's not gonna win any technical awards, and sometimes the graphics just kinda trick you into thinking they're super good by being really plasticky and shiny, but where Nintendo always shines is in their character models, which are so well built and animated that they often look like something that's been pre-rendered. Beyond that, the colors are vibrant and everything just looks really polished. It's really simple, and I know the Wii U is capable of more, but there's no denying that it works well and is altogether very nice on the old eyeballs. The gameplay is just plain old fun. The level design is often simple, but effective, and there are a lot of mechanics on display here. In fact, one of my favorite things about the game is the huge number of power-ups and items at your disposal. Cat suit, tanuki suit, fire flower, propeller cap, clone cherries, big mushroom, boomerang, cannon face, skatey shoe, there's like a bajillion of them. This is of course the first 3D Mario game with four player co-op, and I promise you'll laugh your butt off if you can get three friends in on it. You'll bumble over each other and die a bunch and it'll just be a crazy old good time. It can get a little frustrating, however, almost exclusively because of the ability to pick up your comrades. You do so by hitting Y, or on the Wii Remote, 1. Problem is, you're hitting that button constantly to run, leading to an amount of unfair deaths that you probably won't find very funny after a while. This leads into the couple of issues I had with the controls. They feel kinda limited, probably mostly because of the fact that Nintendo wanted people to be able to play with Wii Remotes. Playing a modern 3D Mario game, with a joystick I might add, and still having to hold B to run just feels kinda dumb. Same with being limited to a certain number of directional movements instead of full 3D movement, which might make you miss some jumps by a wide margin. And if you are playing with a Wii Remote, awkwardly nudging the B button on the other side of the controller with your pointer finger to crouch or pound is really not comfortable. Another gripe is in the difficulty department. A huge portion of this game is incredibly easy like ranging anywhere from baby's first Mario game to hey, that took a couple of tries, largely due to how many darn power-ups the game throws at you. Things do start to get a bit more heated in the special world though, and the last few levels in particular are insane. Seriously, bring a swear jar and about 300 lives with you to the very last level because you're gonna need them. Whether the levels are easy or hard, however, you'll always find yourself having fun, and despite the control gripes, it plays well overall. It's a great game to just sit down and run through casually, shoulder through with your friends, or work through meticulously in order to get every star and sticker and beat every level with every character. In true Nintendo fashion, there's something for you regardless of how you like to play your game. Offering characters with different strengths also helps in fitting different play styles. Peach will be a bit easier for lesser experienced players to handle, whereas Toad's speed and low jump make him a tool of platforming precision. Also, Toad's just the coolest. Period. Am I disappointed that this game wasn't Super Mario Sunshine 2 or Galaxy 3 or something like that? Yeah, a little. It's much simpler than we've come to expect from a 3D Mario, and it feels like Nintendo really just wanted to make sure that they could make something that wouldn't take too much time or money. I mean, it's basically the same engine as 3D Land on the 3DS. However, if you judge Super Mario 3D World purely on its own merits, it's an experience that is undeniably fun, with great mechanics, pleasant graphics and music, and overall a high level of polish. Also, Bowser Mobile. That's worth a couple of points all by itself. On my seven point scale, I give Super Mario 3D World a five. I hope you enjoyed this review. It's my first game review, so please be gentle in the comments. And let me know what else you'd like to see reviewed or what other types of videos you'd like to see. I can pretty much do whatever I want here, so hey, go nuts, suggest whatever. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, please feel free to head over to my channel and check out my other videos. I do unboxings, reviews, let's plays, you know, for movies, games, uh, you know, whatever I feel like. I'll see you later. I like this music.